family still in grief. Their beloved 17-year-old gone, shot to death in the dead of the night. The person who allegedly pulled the trigger is someone who claimed to love the victim like a brother. Our 19 News reporter Stephen Hernandez has more. I know he's in peace right now. I know he's with God, and I'm glad he is. I'm glad he's not in a world where it's just suffering and cruelty. Words aren't enough to describe the grief that Kayla Cabrera and her family are going through. Her only sibling, 17-year-old Rogelio Isaac Cabrera, is gone. Just the way he went out is just, you know, it's that's what hurts me because nobody should go out like that. According to police, Isaac was shot just after midnight on Saturday in an alleyway in downtown Willoughby. By the time officers arrived, it was too late. Kayla still remembers the nightmarish moment her mother found out Isaac wasn't coming home. She was expecting Isaac to come out of a police car, and when she seen that he didn't come out, she knew he was gone. The suspect, identified as 23-year-old Fernando Alejo from Painesville, was arrested nearly 10 hours later in Indiana. An affidavit filed in the Willoughby Municipal Court explains Alejo and Isaac lived together for the past three months. He was somebody that was kind of like an older brother to him and that's how my brother looked at him. Did you ever think that someone who was a brotherly figure to Isaac would do such a thing? No, accused of? no, I never would have thought he would have done something like that. Now the Cabrera family is facing a long judicial process as they organize Isaac's funeral. Alejo's preliminary hearing is set for this Thursday. The family is looking to be in court as well from beginning to end. Right now we just, you know, just want justice for him and hopefully the person gets locked up for for life. In Willoughby, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.